In this video, we're going to talk about the LEMS Primal 2 and the Vivo Barefoot Primus Lite and its cousin, sister, brother, or whatever, uh, the Trail Firm Ground from Vivo Barefoot. Hey everybody, it's Matt Shu from Upright Health and I am under official shelter in place orders to self quarantine here in the San Francisco Bay Area as a result of coronavirus. So my son is taking a nap. I have some time to do a quick review, a breakdown of the differences between the LEMS Primal 2 and the Vivo Barefoot. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the uh, Vivo Barefoot Primus Trail Firm Ground. So I have had the Vivo Barefoot shoes for uh, these, I think for about nine months. Uh, these for roughly around the same time, a little bit less. The LEMS, I was sent for free by the LEMS people. They did give them to me for free, but they did not pay me for this review, so they haven't influenced anything about how uh, I actually feel about the shoes and the recommendations that I have about them and why I might choose these over these. One thing I do want to point out though is I have owned LEMS uh, barefoot shoes in the past. Several years ago, I actually bought a couple pairs, one pair of their Primal and one pair of their boots, which I'll talk about later in a different video. So I have actually worn their shoes before and uh, I have paid money for their shoes before. They just happened to have seen a video that I did a couple weeks back talking about barefoot shoes and they said, hey, yeah, we'll just send you some shoes so you can try out ours too again. So full disclosures out of the way. If you find this video helpful and you want to support our channel during these coronavirus times, use the affiliate links down in the description box to buy the shoes that you end up choosing. Shoes and choose, that should rhyme somehow. Anyway, let's get started with the review. So, the LEMS Primal 2. Look at them. This is what they look like. I got them in a nice gray uh, kind of leather and then some nylon here uppers. Uh, they have a lot of branding. Their brands here, Lems in Boulder, Colorado. I have been wearing these shoes for about three weeks, so I obviously can't speak to durability, but based on the reviews and everything I've seen and the shoes that I owned of theirs before, they don't really have major durability issues. They have a different feel, a definitely different feel than the Vivo Barefoot shoes, which these have been my daily drivers um, for again, about nine months, maybe even a year. These have a much softer, more forgiving feel. The sole uh, is more flexible. So you can kind of see it has all these break points that go basically throughout the entire sole of the shoe. The Vivo Barefoots, this is really noticeable when you're wearing them. Right at the big toe, you don't get really any flexibility. So you have a, you have a hinge point right at the base of your big toe, but you don't have anything beyond that. That doesn't mean that they're really stiff sold, by no means are they stiff, but they definitely don't feel as so soft and conforming as the LEMS. Now that said, with the LEMS, I don't like this rounded heel. So I've had these in other barefoot minimalist shoes. They put a rounded sort of hard uh, heel on the back and it gives you sort of like a, a point to contact and roll on and um, like Vivo Barefoot sort of has it, but it's very low pro profile. And so you don't really feel yourself hammering into it where on the LEMS, I definitely feel that ball contacting first. And I just personally don't like that that much. That's the first thing I notice when I put on these shoes. But as I've been wearing them, it hasn't really bothered me. My, my gait adapted. I can, it doesn't bother me anymore, but it was definitely noticeable coming from the Vivo Barefoots and going to these. Now, as for the actual performance of this, I've been walking around the neighborhood and I went on some short hikes with my son wearing these shoes um, since, again, I can't go anywhere really to do anything else besides walk around the neighborhood because we're on lockdown. I have found these surprisingly helpful. So in a previous video, I talked about the Vivo Barefoots and I talked about uh, the soft star shoes and how walking on concrete in these 
for long periods of time can be a little bit tough on the feet. So the soft stars are even thinner shoes and those get really tough if I'm walking long distances on concrete. The Vivo Barefoots with the insole inside are much more forgiving and they feel pretty good walking out on concrete and sidewalks. The Lems Primal 2 have a slightly thicker stack height. So when you add up the the insole and then the actual bottom of the shoe. The stack height is a little bit thicker than the Vivos and the insole on the Lems are a little bit cushier. So where I see these excelling over the Vivo Barefoots is that they are better on harder, less forgiving surfaces. And I like that when I'm walking around with my son, carrying my son on my shoulders and we're walking on concrete, I would rather have a little bit more padding right now or at least sometimes, just so that my feet don't get as tired and annoyed by the constant impact on a hard surface. The other differences I want to point out are just with the upper, the uh, Primus Light is much more of a kind of stiffer mesh uh, it breathes really, 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 really well. These, I would say, are much better in the summer because they breathe so well. When you get up close, you can see that it is a mesh. You could just blow straight through and you would feel it on your skin if you were barefoot, but I usually am wearing socks. The mesh on the uh, Lems Primal 2s is much more opaque. You can't really see through it. So if you put your hand in there, you won't really see your skin. The shoe itself as a result is warmer. So I live in a place that is pretty cold most of the time when I've been hiking with my son. It's been in the 50 degree range, uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius. Celsius, I would just not live here anymore. That's been really nice actually. So the Vivo, um, the Primus lights, if I'm walking around and it's 50 degrees, I better have warm socks. Otherwise I'm gonna have cold feet. The Lems, I've also taken just biking around a little bit and in cold weather, these are nice and warm. So where that would be a problem is I think in the summertime for me, I would get pretty sweaty feet wearing these shoes, um, but I don't know how it might work. I, I can't say that for 100%, but I know my feet have been warm in these shoes and it's 50 degrees out. So I would imagine when it gets to be like 70 degrees somewhere and I'm walking around in these, they might get a little bit too warm. Another major difference between these shoes is the actual feel around the inside of the shoe. So I've noticed that the way the, um, the shoe here cups in and grips around the ankle on the Lems is much more soft and also more form fitting to my ankle. So what that means is when I'm out hiking where rocks might kind of get up and in around the ankle, I've noticed with the Lems, like the dust and the pebbles just kind of get trapped up top and they don't sink down into the bottom of my shoe and get under my foot. Where if I'm wearing uh, Vivo Barefoots like the Primus Light or the Primus Trail Firm Ground, I notice that stuff gets in. And notice with the trail also that there are some other issues that the Lems fixes and I'll talk about those in a second. The last thing I want to mention about these two shoes and how they compare is that the laces on the limbs actually seem to stay tied and they just seem to work really well. I don't know what it is about Vivo Barefoot laces, but if I don't double knot them, I swear they will never ever stay tied for more than like 20 minutes. Vivo Barefoot Lacing is really particular for me. If I don't lace them like exactly the right way and keep it loose down here and then tighten it up a little bit in the middle and do all these little adjustments, these shoes can like just get too tight, too stiff in different areas. So I have to make sure I don't mess up my lacing too much. Um, the Lems are more like other shoes I've had where I can, it doesn't matter that much. I don't have to pay that much attention to it. But with the Vivo Barefoots, I've definitely had to dial that in. And then I, I like the shoes. I love them a lot. Um, but there is a, an adjustment and experimentation period that needs to happen in order to get them to be comfortable.
Now I'm talking about the Primus Lights versus the LEMS uh, Primal 2s and you might be looking at them and saying like, well, those are obviously different style shoes and maybe really different functions. So let's talk about the Primus Trail from Vivo Barefoot. Uh, I have the firm ground edition. Most of the time I'm walking on firm ground. The Primal 2s are again, a much more flexible sole. The, the firm grounds, the Vivo Barefoots, again, don't have the flexibility near the tip, right? They don't have that ability to articulate towards the end of your toes. You do get that break point there, but it just doesn't feel as comfortable and conforming as the Primal 2s. Uh, so the other thing is that while the mesh, the mesh on the trail shoes is more tightly knit than the Primus Lights, there's still uh, areas where you can see light coming through. So if there's light coming through, there are these holes in the mesh that are big enough for things like dust and small pebbles and little thorns to come through, which definitely happens with this shoe for me. And also what happens is little pebbles and rocks come up and over on the sides and just slip right in just because of the way it fits around my ankle. It's more of a stiff um, upper here and so it doesn't kind of have that cushy hugging feeling that the lens have. Um, and so things can just sort of slip right in and then they get under my foot and into my socks and then I get a little annoyed. And then when I'm done, my socks are really dusty because dust just comes right in through the sides. Like I said before, the lems, this area here around the ankle hugs really well around the ankle. It's soft and cushioned, not like crazy overly cushioned, but it just feels like it's conforming to the ankle a lot better and it seems to keep stuff out a lot better. And again, the mesh on the sides is much more tightly knit, so stuff doesn't just get in easily. The thing though that I would say is better on the Vivo Barefoots is the grip. When you look at the soles on these shoes, you can see a pretty big difference in the tread pattern. The lems have tread. They definitely don't feel like I'm going to slip and fall or anything like that. They definitely will grip when we're hiking around or when I have my son on my shoulders and we're going down a hill. It's not a problem. But I will say that this pattern, this tread pattern on the Vivo Barefoot uh, Primus Trail is just really, really effective. I remember the first time I took these out, I was blown away like how sure-footed I felt. Like I could just grab and go and it just felt like I had four wheel drive or something, which is pretty cool. When comparing these two shoes, another thing that's gotten my attention is the lacing. So like I said with Vivo Barefoot, I always need to play around with lacing if I, especially on these, if I pull too tight here and pull this up too much, it just chokes out my foot. And even if it doesn't seem like it's going to, over time I start feeling these these very narrow laces digging in and it just feels like my foot is not moving very well. The lems were not hard for me to find the right spot and they just felt pretty good right out of the box. So that was a welcome, welcome contrast from the Vivo Barefoots. Let's talk about reasons why one shoe might be your preference versus the other one. First thing is style. This is highly, highly personal and dependent upon your geography. These shoes clearly to me look like they would fit in very well in a place like Boulder, Colorado. If you're in the Pacific Northwest, you're in an outdoorsy place. These shoes fit in really, really well. Shoes like the Primus Light, not so much. They really do look more like city folk shoes. And if you're living in a city, you may prefer to look like you're wearing city folk shoes. You may not want to look like you're going out for a hike later because people may not have anywhere to hike where you live and it just doesn't fit the style of the place you are in. So style wise, if you're in an urban environment, I would, I would probably be wearing these and these are the shoes that I tend to wear more even though these are super comfortable. But we're on lockdown now, so nobody cares what I look like. You're lucky I even did my hair for this video. Another big factor here is how you want your shoe to feel and how flexible you want it to be. If you want a flexible, flexible sole, I would say the lems are going to be more flexible, especially because of that extra flexibility near the toes. Uh, also, if you want the feel of your shoe to be a little more forgiving 
on concrete and hard surfaces, I would definitely go with the Lems. They have just a little bit of extra stack height, so it is a softer feel. Also, the mesh may be a determining factor for you. If you need something that's warmer, you want to go with the Lems because these are definitely warmer than the Primus Lights and also definitely warmer than the Primus Trail. Both of these have a mesh that allows airflow um, much more so than the Lems and they just let cold pass through a whole lot easier. So that could be a determining factor for you. Also, just in terms of the upper, you should know that the Vivo Barefoot uppers are just stiffer in general. So with the Lems, there's this feeling of almost having like a nice t-shirt or a sweater kind of layered over your foot where you can actually feel like it's much stiffer. You have almost like a plastic bottle kind of sheeted over your toes. And that doesn't generally bother me, but it's definitely a different sensation than uh, wearing the Lems Primal 2s. As far as pricing goes, you'll have to check the websites to make sure you're getting updated information. But in general, the Lems are cheaper than the Vivo Barefoots. Vivo Barefoots seem to enjoy occupying a place in the upper echelon of pricing for minimalist shoes, which is fair. Lems tend to be a little bit more affordable, so if you're just looking for the cheaper option, then you would want to go with the Lems. If you've got more questions about these shoes, feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section. And if there are other barefoot shoes that you want to see reviewed, that you want me to walk around on the street with for a little bit and see how they feel, let me know and I can reach out to some of those companies and ask them to trial some of their shoes while I'm under quarantine, if they can even send me shoes anymore because who knows how long we're still gonna be getting mail. Again, if you wanna help support us during these coronavirus times and make sure we're able to keep making these videos, then be sure to use the affiliate links down below for purchasing these shoes. It doesn't raise the price you pay, but we get a little happy kickback that we can use to buy more cans of beans in preparation for lockdown. And you can also head to our website at uprighthealth.com and check out our do-it-yourself programs so you can help train your own body and make it feel right. If you like this video, click the like button, share it with somebody who's also in lockdown and shopping for minimalist shoes, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos about minimalist shoes and the coronavirus. I'm Matt Chu from Upright Health, reminding you that pain sucks. Life shouldn't.